In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and manage a audio Dropbox using the Rich Internet Applications for Language Learning, which are a suite of applications created by the Center for Language Education and Research at Michigan State University. So first thing I'm going to do is go to the Internet Rich Internet Applications homepage, which is clear.msu.edu forward slash teaching forward slash online forward slash RIA. And then I'm going to log in using an account that I created. And if we scroll down, Audio Dropboxes is our first application. So here you see I'm logged in as Noah Broad, and here's the documentation if I need it. And first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder. And let's call it ESL 101. And so any audio uh, Dropbox assignments that I'm going to create for this particular class, I'm going to try and categorize in this folder. And then we'll create a new Dropbox. And so it created a new Dropbox, and it's just a blank one. So I'm going to edit it to change the settings and get our name. And let's limit those recordings that people make to 45 seconds. And I'm going to place it in the ESL 101 folder. And I'm also going to tell it to send me an email notification whenever anybody uploads an audio file to the Dropbox. And then I'm going to save it. So if we navigate to this folder, so let's open it up, we can see that introduce yourself. This, is, this audio Dropbox area has been placed within the folder. So one thing to know about audio Dropboxes is that audio Dropboxes are intended to be embedded in a web page or a course page. It's not possible to send a direct link to your Dropbox to your students. You have to embed the Dropbox into a page and then share that page with your students. And you do that by clicking on this HTML button. And this is going to give you um, a chunk of code that you don't have to understand it. You just need to copy it and paste it into, um, into an area that's going to render HTML. So this could be your Moodle page. Or for example, here, this is just an HTML, a website that renders HTML. And so I just pasted it and then show. And this is the sort of thing that's going to show up in the page that you paste that code into. It'll be a, a box that says Audio Dropbox. And I'll say Begin. Type my name in. And my email address. And then hit Go. And now I can start recording myself. Um, and because I limited that time limit to 45 seconds, it'll start counting down. And right now, it's recording me making this recording. And so I'll stop that recording that's made so far. And I could play it back if I wanted. And I can hear that I got audio. And I'll save it. And my recording has been submitted. And what I'll do here is we can close out of that. And we're back in our management interface that the teacher has. And I'll just refresh the page. And over the eyeball, if you hover over it, it will pop up things that says View Recordings. So I'll hit View Recordings and see what showed up. And here's the recording I just made. So my name, which I entered, I can play it if I want. Um, if you give it a little bit longer, the server will convert it into an MP3 and there'll be a little link here that you can download. But otherwise, I can just listen to it straight in the interface. And so that's how you create an audio Dropbox. In a later video, what I'll do is I'll show you how to put this audio Dropbox into a web page. Um, that's created with the clear rich internet applications and then share that internet application or then share that web page with students. Thank you for watching.